Western School fans and welcome back to the vlog. Hari ini kita ke indoor stadium di Tangerang untuk melihat pertandingan antara Tangerang Hawks melawan Borneo Hornbills. Of course, welcome back to Uncle Akim Scott. Guys, gua benar excited banget main pas heard the news kalau dia akan sign dengan Borneo Hornbills. So, we gonna see his debut today dengan Borneo Hornbills and of course kalau dari Tangerang Hawks gua juga penasaran banget sih pengen lihat mereka apakah mereka bisa bounce back setelah main ini kalah dari Amarta Hang Tua dan juga nonton salah satu jagoan gua yaitu Gustong. Semoga dia juga hari ini bisa drop like 30 points. So, ini pertama kalinya gue datang ke indoor stadium. This is huge, yo. And this is nice. I love the vibes though. Kayak gelap gitu penontonnya tapi lapangannya jing terang. Ini bener remind me of the Lakers home game. So, this is pretty cool. So, yeah. Itu aja sedikit opening dari gue. Habis ini kita akan ngelipat para uh, pemanasannya para pemain. So, hopefully you guys gonna enjoy the content. Pastikan guys, kasih like, kasih komen, and enjoy the content guys. Steve just vibing for the game. So who is hey! Welcome back, Uncle Akim. Y'all know the rules. How before you eat, we back, baby. Yes, sir. Game. Good luck, bro. Appreciate you. Like this, it's already 25 minutes, I'm going to look at So he's ready. For tonight's game, semoga banyak hal yang salah keren sih. Sebelum kita ngeliput hari ini kita makan dulu guys, <laughs> karena pas sekarang ini lagi bulan puasa itu kan kita ngeliputnya jam 8 malam, baru selesai itu jam 10an, lalu interview dulu, post game interview. Biasanya baru nyampe rumah tuh jam 12 malam guys, jadi biasanya udah nggak sempet untuk makan, jadi itu kenapa kita sekalian support lah. Beberapa boot yang ada di luarnya indoor stadium Tangerang, uh, tapi gue hari ini milihnya makannya bihun bakso. Ini maksudnya komplit nih, ada yang ada yang gepeng, ada urat, ada yang biasa, dan juga ada tahunya. Dan of course ditemani oleh minuman yang cukup segar hari ini yaitu lychee ice tea. Udah lama gila gue nggak minum lychee ice tea, tapi very excited to try this. Dan kita juga support lah the boot boot di depan nih ya. Oh so, gitu guys, gonna eat first and then I'm gonna see you guys again when I go back inside. Sabrina Oregon Jaksa ini Jakarta ada gak sih? Ini gak ada ya It's pretty cool Mirip-mirip lah sama warna bonnya Time out. Langsung masuk. There we go. Goggles. Spot.
Gokil, gimana rasanya sekarang main banyak nih? Ya ikutin plan dari Coach Mail aja lah, dikasih kesempatan kita buktiin aja Dari berani banget, nembak terakhir gimana? Coba take us dong, ceritain dong, nembak dari 3 point terakhir di situ. Ya. Yang penting angkat aja, masuk nggak masuk ke belakang Temen, temen gue nih main di BSD nih Saya so, kata Coach Mail, kalau nggak nembak gue dimarahin Ya, ya udah, mending gue nembak ya. aja Bener, coba temennya gimana? Kiri, rumet, rumet Gimana nih, lihat Orlando mainnya kayak tadi ini yang momen yang ditunggu-tunggu kok. Soalnya kan kita roommate nih udah hampir 2 tahun. Jadi kayak chemistry-nya udah mantap habis. Dua shooter nih, dua shooter. Ini. Thank you, Koro. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. You vibe, bro. You vibe. You vibe. You know what I'm saying? Listen. I told y'all once. We're the team to watch out for now. It's a whole different vibe, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> I thought my team played well in the first half after uh, playing a back-to-back. -back. Um, I just think we're, we're uh, you know, losing a couple games because of lack of focus. Um, I have to take you know full responsibility for this game um, since I had seven turnovers. So you know, my team just taking care of the ball, uh, continuing to get shots, um, and you know, playing defense. Playing defense uh, wins games. So. Um, you know, we play really good defense in the, the first half, uh, not so much in the second half. Kalau mau ngomongin bahasa Inggris, lo di import dulu nanti jawab. Oh man, really, um, we let them come out with intensity. We already knew that um, they just played yesterday. So in the second half, I knew that they would, you know, their win would start catching up to them. You know what I mean? It just it's a lot to ask for to play a double and, and, and win in the second half, you know what I mean? We just wanted to keep the intensity up. Everybody wanted to play. We started getting angry. Um, defense is will. It's all willpower. You got to want to play defense. That's what makes you a good defensive team. That's, that's what makes you a good defensive player when you take pride into it. And I think every game we've been taking another step to take pride on defense. And I'm proud, I'm proud of our team. Yeah, for me it was, uh, we, it was the communication. Uh, the communication, getting stops, and then running the floor. Uh, I think now uh, we're starting to get the gist of uh, having our identity, of being a fast team, a defensive team. So in the second half, we, we started talking to each other more, communicating, boxing out, getting stops, and we just started running, getting to the basket. So for me, that was the change in the second half. I agree with them. <laughs> yeah. I also, we went five guards, too. I don't even know if y'all realize that we had five guards on the floor at once and they couldn't even use their mismatches because we were playing too fast. So that's always a good thing when we can play a small lineup because they, they couldn't match up with us on the other offensive end. Okay, uh, coach, uh, bagaimana uh, Mas tentang kemenangan ketiga ini secara bentuk? Uh, Beruntung. Dua kali. Dua kali. Dua kali. Bang, ini bagus buat psikologis kami semua ya. Ini kan ada jeda break, gitu kan. Ini menurut kami habis menang yang sekarang bisa menambah semangat apa yang kekurangan kita yang kita lakukan lima uh, game 
setelah saya pegang di sini, apa apapun itu bisa menambah semangat mereka di latihan individual mereka nanti di jeda break ini. Menurut saya itu. Coach, congratulations on the win. Uh, first of all, I'd like to know the reason uh, you pick up the guy next to you, uh, like before the break. Because usually people, team gonna chase after the break, do or during the break, but. I already decide untuk ambil Akim sebelum break ini apa alasannya? Uh, yang pertama dia mature player, dia experienced player. Hmm. Itu yang kita harapin dari dia untuk dia membawa hmm. aura positif dan itu sudah dilakukan di tim sebelumnya. Kita bisa lihat di sosmed mereka hmm. apa yang dia lakuin di sosial media mereka. Saya harap itu yang ditularkan dibawa ke sini. Apa yang dilakuin di bench biarpun dia hmm. enggak main itu kan membawa semangat buat anak-anak muda di Borneo ini bisa step up lebih jauh lagi itu sih yang saya harapin dari dia Coach Orlando pede banget, confident banget uh, what did you do to him? <laughs> we have to push him, mm -hmm. we have to push him, we have to force him gak ada, gak ada cara yang lain, kita harus paksa dia main sebanyak mungkin, main se bisa dia, harusnya dia bisa ngelewatin itu semua dia bisa, dia punya, dia punya kemampuan itu. Tapi kita harus, kita yang harus paksa supaya itu tuh keluar dari dia gitu. Kalau kita nggak paksa, kita kasih dia san. Menurut saya sih itu nggak baik buat dia. Dia umurnya baru mungkin tahun ini 24 tahun. Dia masih panjang perjalanan untuk buat main di IBL ini. Jadi kita harus paksa dia supaya dia bisa naik terus levelnya ke atas. Gitu. Mike, question man, when did you get your chain? When you get it, you went to the locker room and grab it or what? Man, you know I gotta be fresh for the interview, man. I gotta run that room. I see the coach laughing at me. I had to go get it, man. That's that's nice though. That's that's shiny. I appreciate you, bro. Kim, first game. Hold on, you 41? I'm the leading champion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Energy was crazy. That third quarter was the bitter. Just how was your first game, man? Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Uh, I'm not super happy. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, when, when, I, when I came and uh, I had a meeting with coach, I told coach it doesn't matter how many minutes I play. It's one minute or ten minutes. I'm gonna give him my everything. You know, uh, he's one of the people that believe in me. Um, the whole league said no to me. Every team said no to me. And uh, so I'm playing with a chip on my shoulder. I'm playing for people who want to play when they get older. So some of these younger guys, they want to play until they're 40. I, I got to do it first so people can believe it. So you're going to see me every game playing 94 feet, doing all the little things. This is Steve and Mike's team. I'm, 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 I'm excited about playing a role, being a role player. So as long as I'm here, one minute or 15 minutes, 94 feet defense, playing hard, being the best that I can be. When was this deal done? Like, I want to know, like, how 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 much plays do you know? Um, I know about three or four plays. You know? okay. But it, coach just told me even before the game, he said, just do what you do, just do what you do. So um, when a coach has that much confidence in you, it's it's easy to play. Even when you make mistakes, he just keep telling you, keep going, keep going. You know, I, so I was able to play free today and give these guys a good break and be efficient. What did you What did you take out the goggles in the second half? Um, so when I got hit in the head, uh -huh. the goggle went in mm. to my uh, temple. So I was like, God, that's it. I got to take this off. I was a little scared. I still got the cut over my eye, but mm. if, it, if it bleeds again, it bleeds. It is what it is. What a game, right? What a first game. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. We're happy to have you back. Thank you. Man. Thank you.